Hello friends and welcome to the sand dunes of Khimsar. Now yesterday we flew in from Delhi to Jodhpur, picked up the espresso and immediately went to a fuel pump to start our fuel economy run with the espresso. So the big question, kitna deti hai espresso? Well, the answer lies in this video in the next few minutes. So guys, stay tuned to see what we did yesterday with this car. This is a very essential part of any fuel economy run. The process is slow but it ensures that all the air bubbles escape and they can fill up the car. After coming back, the error is as low as possible. So we are uh, resetting the entire trip meter. Uh, average fuel economy set to zero. This is the range. Uh, this is the total order meter reading. Trip A will be set to zero. Trip B will also be set to zero. And here we go. So as you saw, uh, the fill up process is very very slow because we need to make sure all the air bubbles escape and the fuel comes up to the brim. Again when we do the drive after a few hours we will be coming to the same pump doing the same exercise and this is very important. A proper tank full to tank full method is the only way to get a fuel economy figure that is that has less error, as less error as possible. We have reset the trip meters just on the outskirt of Jodhpur right now and going towards the highway to Kimsar. We'll do a round trip, go towards the outskirts of Kimsar, turn back, come back towards the same pump and the aim is to get at least 150 kilometers on the order meter. The AC will be on, uh, there is no climate control so I'm setting the temperature to slightly less cooler. And once on the highway, we'll be maintaining approximately 70 75. This is a small car after all. This is the automatic AGS, not the manual. So we've done the first uh, set of 20 kilometers. And immediately, it's a good news, 28.8 kmpl on the speedo console. This, by the way, is in the center of the uh, face here, not on the right side. Uh, the highway has opened up, traffic has uh, reduced significantly. We are in the fifth gear, of course, and maintaining 70, 72, 73 on the speedometer. Uh, one more thing, uh, this is the same engine that powers the Celerio and the Wagonar and the Alto K10, but for those three models, the certified economy is quite good. It's 22, 23, 24. Then as for the Espresso, the certified economy is 21.7, which means they have clearly tuned the engine for performance. Will that affect our fuel economy run? Well, stay tuned to know the answer. We have just paid the first toll outside of Jodhpur and the slightly bad news is that the four lane has ended. A two lane has started. This will add to the challenge. Nevertheless, uh, we have covered 32 kilometers since we filled up the espresso and we're getting uh, an economy of 28.7. This has dropped because of the toll booth. We were at almost 29. Uh, again, we'll keep 70, 75 on the stretch as well and I'll meet you at the 50 mark. still under 29 kmpl uh, which is not bad considering that uh, the gear issues are meant for city usage not for highway runs now i do understand that no one drives on an open highway at 70 but uh, as is the case with our other fuel economy runs the main aim is to extract as much as possible from a car in terms of kitna deti hai 
By the way, the links to all our other fuel economy runs is currently in the description section below. So after this video, do have a look at all our runs. We will be taking a U-turn back from just before Kimsar and uh, going back to the same pump. Uh, in the process, we might end up doing approximately 160 kilometers, which is not bad. Uh, one thing I need to keep an eye out for is the livestock on the road, goats, dogs, uh, cows and the occasional camels. So that is something that keeps you busy on the road in Rajasthan. So we did a U-turn a while back on the outskirts of Kimsar and uh, just crossed the 100 mark. The good news is economy has finally gone and kissed the 29 kmpl mark. Uh, remember the Espresso is a small car so even the fuel tank is small, 27 litres only. But if you drive it the way we are driving, that means 27 into 29 kmpl is a very good tank range. Now the sun is going down, we left uh, Jodhpur uh, in late, late afternoon. So that means by the time we get back to the fuel pump at 170 kilometers, we might be in a bit of low light conditions. So please bear with us on that front. So I'll now be meeting you on the 150 mark, uh, just cross 100. So at 150, I'll again meet you and let you know what we are up to in terms of the fuel economy figure on the console. Just crossed the 150 mark and the sun is about to disappear into the horizon on the right side. Uh, the good news, we are finally inching towards the 30 kmpl mark. That is the magical figure. Remember, the official certified economy of this is 21.7. But on such open roads, it is improving that figure by a huge, huge margin. We will be stopping after approximately 18 minutes at our pump which is on the outskirts of Jodhpur, slightly into town. But as you saw, we had a toll booth coming in twice, a lot of cattle on the road, a bit of traffic as well. And I must again admit, uh, I keep on switching off the AC to get a better uh, figure. But I, I hope uh, all's well that ends well, so I'll be meeting you very soon once we get into the pump. The light might go away, so the shoot might be a bit dark, uh, forgive us for, for that. But yeah, the magical result coming up in the next few minutes. So we've done uh, 170.2 kilometers. It shows 30.1. Let's see what is the actual result. Yes, even I am surprised, just over 170 kilometers and the car took in just over 6 litres of petrol. Simple calculations, that's a genuine over 28 kmpl. Quite good, right? 